Let's take a look at this video of Andrew Tate talking about LGBTQ and then I'll make some comments. I have a question uh, regarding, we talked about tolerance yeah. and yep. acceptance. Okay. And the other end of that is extremism. Yep. So I'm a Jew, yep. Christian, newfound Muslim, yep. respect, look at us all yep. hanging out here. Yeah, it's the Romania. beginning of a joke right. somewhere. You know, so <laughs> I, you know, we're talking about accepting yep. the I have gay friends, yep. I have lesbian friends, yep. I'm bisexual. Yep. Okay. The T okay. stuff is what, it's yeah. kind of like, all right, what's actually even happening here? You know, I'm not a, yeah. this is not my wheelhouse nor any of our wheelhouses, yeah. but one could argue that, you know, on the, on the opposite end of the acceptance and the yep. tolerance is mm. like absolute extremism. Yep. And I'm sure the allies of the mm. LGBT will point to Islam and point to the Middle Eastern countries and yeah. point to the North African mm -hmm. countries that have Islam as their religion and say they are the most extreme right. when it comes to LGBT. They say that right. it should be illegal yeah. to be gay. And in some countries you should be killed if you are gay. Super this is just, I'm just pointing you're out right. stats. You're right, mm -hmm. and it's a super interesting argument because I will, I will sit here and say that I guarantee in most Islamic countries there are gay people and I guarantee that they have gay relationships and nobody cares as long as they're not trying to inflict on the children. It's Agree. illegal to walk down the street and do indecent things in front of children. Mm -hmm. But I guarantee if you were gay in a lot of these countries, privately. You no, know, privately, nobody would care because right. they're trying to preserve the family unit. And to a degree, you have to always protect innocence. When you were talking about extremism, mm -hmm. I would be friends with a gay person. Yes, I'm a Muslim, but I would be friends with a gay person mm -hmm. because if a full-grown man decides to make a decision, it's his decision to make. But I must protect innocence as a man, so I must protect children. If two, two full-grown right. men decide to have a fight, let them fight. If a full-grown man decides to pick on a kid, that's unacceptable. So I must right. protect innocence. Mm -hmm. So I agree with the extremism point, but I have no problem with full-grown men. I want to stop here for a second and want to tell you this. The LGBTQ issue doesn't start with kids, nor does it end with kids. In other words, it is not something we should be see taking seriously just because some kid will be affected by it. No, it is not just the kid. It is everyone in the society, even for grown-up men who never thought about being gay all of a sudden can you imagine seeing two men having sexual relationship how that will affect that man and how he will feel about his wife at home of course that's going to impact his view about this whole lgbtq sexuality right so it doesn't really start with kid only or ends with kid only it is affecting all kind of people in the society so when Andrew Tate said well as long as the kids are being safe are being protected and they are not being influenced by homosexuality then it should be okay I don't have any problem having gay friends I disagree with that it is not just the kid Andrew Tate he looks like to me he got all of these ideas his understanding from the Western culture where the conservative in the West the conservative the right-wingers they will always argue that we are okay with LGBTQ, no problem, but do not brainwash our kids. We agree with that as Muslims, but we don't just stop there. We say, no, it should be stopped at every sphere of life. But this seems to be something that Andrew Tate has problem agreeing with. And then he said, well, if the Islamic scholars, they are disagreeing with me on this view, I don't care. And he said something very, very interesting. Let's take a listen. Doing what they want to do. Maybe some Islamic scholars are going to watch this and get mad at me. I don't have a problem with gay, with gay people All right. being friends with a gay person. I don't care. My problem is when you take a person who is unarmed, who is innocent, mm -hmm. who is programmable like a child, and start inflicting your worldview on them. That is disgusting and it's immoral. That is unfair and it can't be accepted on any level. And that's the reason homosexuality is genuinely mm -hmm. outlawed in these countries. Not because they fear what two full-grown men are going to do. They fear what's happened in the West. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. We do not have any problem gay people living with among us, with us. No problem. Because see, the thing is that even the prophet, right, Luth al-Islam, he lived with gay people. No problem. The problem is when you promote it at any level, not just to the kids again. And the other point that I want to make mention of is that this person, when he introduced uh, Andrew Tate to the topic and he wanted so him to talk about uh, he actually brought up the issue of religiosity. He was talking about, oh, I'm a Jew, he's a Christian, you are a new uh, found faith Muslim. It is not about religion. The LGBTQ issue it no, is not a religious issue only. It is a moral issue. How you behave, how you conduct yourself in the society is something that should be, that there should be a standard set by people who, with common sense. And anybody with common sense will disagree with the lifestyle. 
Now let's talk about the end of time Dajjal system. If you are somebody interested in this, Dajjal, he is going to be somebody who will, who will not have kids. He doesn't want you and I to have kids. Why? Because he wants all of us to be like him. And so the less we believe in the traditional marriage you know, institution, the traditional way of marrying someone, the less righteous kids we will have right because homosexual they don't have kids in 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 principle therefore it is going to benefit who the jal he doesn't want righteous kids he want kids from homosexuals they adopt they surrogate whatever they do this is a plot of the the jal if you do believe in that narrative thank you so much brothers and sisters for watching i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day